In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to add a door typical ACR in ProWatch. This is your most common type of reader. It contains a physical reader, a request to exit, a door position, and a lock output. In ProWatch, we'll click on Hardware Configuration. Next, we'll locate the site that we wish to install the reader on. We'll go down to the Panels folder and right-click, choose New Logical Device. In this window for the description, we'll give it the name of the reader or the door. In this case, it's going to be main door. For the hardware template, we're going to do, choose door typical ACR, access control reader. Next, we're going to verify that we have the correct panel selected that is attached to the reader board that is wired to this reader. And in the, for the hardware class, from the drop down, we're going to choose readers. This class is what defines your folders over here on the left that contains your different devices. In this case, it is a reader, so it needs to go into the readers folder. We're going to click next. As you can see, it already has all your necessary devices for this type of reader. And all we have to do is pick the initial reader port. In this case, we're going to use reader zero. As you can see, it automatically assigns all the other devices per the template. Now we're going to click finish. This will create the reader. Now we're going to open up the readers folder double click on main door and we're going to go to logical device details. As you can see everything is still defined here. We're going to click on the reader and go to reader settings. This is where you set all your settings up for your reader. The strike time defines how long the door will remain unlocked after a valid card read. The held time is a counter that starts once the door is opened and continues to count down once it reaches zero. If the door has not been closed, it will generate an alarm. You also have extended strike time and extended held times. These are for the cards that have an ADA flag set form for American Disabilities Act. This will allow extended time for the user to get through the door and before an alarm goes off for the door being held open. In the middle column, we have the keypad mode. If this is a keypad reader, you need to pick the appropriate mode. The most common one is Hughes ID, which is a 4-bit. The LED mode defines the color that flashes and the behavior of the light on the reader. The offline mode, this is the mode that the reader goes into if the reader board can no longer connect to the panel board. A facility code, it'll look just for a facility code and then allow access, or it could go to a purely locked state or purely unlocked state. The default mode is the behavior of the reader. The most common is card and pin, card only, or card or pin. In this case, this is a card only reader, so we're going to pick card only. Your card formats are the different formats that you've defined for the physical cards that you're using, the number of bits that they return. So click the appropriate one. And then we also want to make sure that we can pulse is checked. Now we are going to click OK and then OK. For more videos, please visit https colon slash slash honeywelldiscovertraining.com. Thank you.